Hello, this is Wes with Baron Heating, Baron Green Team at BaronGreenTeam.com. Uh, let's see, this is video walkthrough of the Mitsubishi Hyperheat Unitary System that is blowing my mind. I know I say that a lot, because there's a lot of things that blow my mind, but this is it. This is the most powerful unitary, which means American version, standard ducted type system uh, that you can buy in an electric heat pump system. Um, you'll, you'll hear, I sell everything, right? So I'm not saying this bias, but you'll hear Carrier and Lennox and all these companies with their modulating systems say, you know, fear no Fahrenheit, we can put the same amount of heat at 47 as 17. And Mitsubishi's saying, we did that 40 years ago. So now I've got 42,000 BTUs down to negative five. I have no backup heat in this system. This house is uh, well insulated. Homeowners keep their temperature at 63 degrees all season, all year round uh, for heating. And um, you'll see the installation, but this unit is all obviously on. So you get an idea of amount of heat or amount of noise. I call this a double stack unit. I think they're beautiful. Some people would say eyesore, but they're awesome. These are uh, Titan feet, pad, all that kind of stuff. Just super great. Man, I love it. This is also Mitsubishi, I'll point this out maybe later, but they're also the only uh, Japanese style ducted system that can integrate into any thermos, any two-stage thermostat. Um, that is out there. So you'll see this system is being ran by an Eco B3, which is also one of the highest rated thermostats uh, online. Cool. All right, let me take you inside. So that is the outdoor unit. Love you, goodbye. Let's go inside. I already cleared all the spiders out of the way. Lucky you didn't get that on the camera. So this is a complete attic install. There isn't uh, anything in the crawl space or anything like that. Um, what we did was everything is in the ceiling. So as we come in here, I'll show you this here. It'll focus on it. So this is the bootless four-way diffuser. So we did those throughout. You'll see that there, here, etc. In case you were wondering, Pacific Northwest is awesome, and this is why we live here. It just rained last night for like the first time in two months, so I don't know what, but it always looks like this. So here we are, beautiful San Juans. And then let me take you over here. You can get a view of the Eco B3. So that's the Eco B3. Now remember, Mitsubishi is the only one that has the five wire adapter now that runs any thermostat, so I get to pick and choose. I decided to do a four inch filter grill so it was uh, easy access and maintenance. Just gotta make sure everything's sealed really well beyond a filter grill because you don't want the system to have any reason to uh, take air from anywhere else. So, four inch filter grill, and I'll take you up into the attic. With my handy dandy, I'll check this out. I just bought this my Makita Spidey flashlight. So you put your Makita uh, deal in there and then it stays with you. I don't know if I'm gonna need it up here. Up here, cause I got a light, but I still think it's super cool. All right. So up in the attic is pretty much the same thing you've always seen. I mean, it's not really, when you think of this, it's a really high end product. This installation was just under 30,000. But um, it's a complete retrofit. But when you look at it, it's not really any different than a standard install. Of course, the controls and everything are a lot crazier, but um, you got your air handler, return, supply, fresh air, um, all the standard stuff. That is a, so if you're gonna have a condensate pump on your job, what you wanna request from your contractor is a clear view, variable speed unit. They're much quieter, much better, they're like $30 more. So you definitely want to uh, get the clear view variable speed condensate pump um, if you're gonna do that. But when you look at this installation, 
besides the outdoor unit, it's almost exactly the same as any other like carrier, you know, standard brand. It's just that we need the 5R adapter to communicate with the Mitsubishi, and then we have the outdoor unit that's pretty much kicking everyone's ass. It's pardon my language, but it's true. You know, 42,000 BTUs at negative five, forget about it. Um, let's see. So yeah, not a whole lot. It's not that interesting actually up here because, you know, it's just duck work, but pretty cool. All right, continuing on. I'm gonna take you uh, over, let's see, what can I take you to? Well, there isn't really anything else, sorry. That's really it. Like I said, it's just, it's not like duckless where there's, you know, a million different variables and like different heads and everything. It's a ducted system. It's upflow, horizontal, downflow. You put a thermostat on it, you put the monster outside and the thing just blows your mind. So that's it. I appreciate you checking this out. Again, my, if you're gonna watch more of my videos, they're not technical walkthroughs. This is just consumer stuff. Know what it looks like. What's the application? Is it good? So far, so good on this one. Um, you know, obviously, we'll know more uh, as we go through uh, more time and have you know massive amounts of installs. But uh, pretty awesome. And remember that fiber adapter. Not a lot of people are going to know about that, um, but it is changing the way this uh, the Japanese stuff works in the industry because the EcoB is awesome. Okay, thanks for watching, and check out my other videos. All right, bye.